G'day. Well, what a fun week this has been. Thought I'd do a little uh, vloggy type thing about how the craziness has been going on with all the with the Rona, as us Aussies like to call it. Um, I've inadvertently become a full-time knife maker. Now, this is the first week of being a full-time knife maker, so who knows what that sort of means or is becoming. But uh, it's... Well, I spoke about a couple of weeks ago about pushing and making sure you're getting more done and that sort of thing. And we've had to uh, intentionally make the decision for me to stop working for a little while because of the fact one of my children is uh, sort of a, a immuno... Well, she's not immunocompromised, but she has uh, asthma issues, which we're a little bit worried about. And we've had some scary times in the past with her. Um, and we're just not prepared to basically put a family at risk for that. So... Um, Basically, we've decided to chew into our savings for a little while and, um, and, and well, go full time for a bit. So I've been in the workshop all week and it's been, it's been a fun week. It's been, uh, it's been good. I've been doing lots of things and I've been thoroughly enjoying myself. There's been some real highs and some real lows and, um, the lows have been not as much as the highs. So that's good. I've, I've, uh, I've been playing with lots of things. So I spoke to a Several people, well, I spoke to all of you a little while ago about, um, I'm playing with this, which is uh, Uncle Bjorn, the creative man's um, uh, file jig, uh, grinding jig, and uh, we all know about these file guides. I love these. I own three of these, and they are a mezzan. They, um, they come in a couple of different sizes. They've got the big mert and uh, the normal size one. And you can also buy this awesome little block that goes with it that basically allows it to go into the vice too. And that can be retrofitted with just a little bit of work to your old, to your same vice. Now the guide, it's been a fun thing. I've been, uh, I've been playing with that and I wanted to do, uh, do quite a few knives on it before I started doing reviews because nothing worse than a review for something that the person has no clue what they're talking about. So I figured why not make a heap of knives on it and get used to it. Now I don't use a guide. I will, I will say that quite quickly. I don't use a guide. Um, I, I always wanted to just do freehand. I just figured, well, I don't want to be limited by certain things, but there is certain knives where it, it makes sense. But also, uh, part of being a good knife maker is repeatability. And well, they, if they're one thing, they're definitely a layer to be, be repeatable anyway. So in the next couple of weeks, you'll see a full review on that. I've been making some cool stuff. Um, what else have I been doing? So I had another whole batch of cactus juice go down the bin uh this week which <sighs> i'm starting to lose my faith in cactus juice i have to admit i was trying to work out today how many cactus juice how many gallons i've bought i probably bought 15 gallons for my own business use work personal use over the last couple of years and i've lost four so that's not good it's getting close to a third uh is it right yeah it's getting close to a third uh of them and uh and Turntex state that it'll only one of two things, and I've spoken about this before. It's either temperature, which I know it's not because, well, it's pretty damn cold here right now. It's definitely not warm, uh, and it was right next to several other batches that, again, didn't go off, which in every case has been next to other batches that didn't go off at the same time. Uh, and it was fine at half past nine last night, and then at 9.44 last night, I came in here to find a boiling hot pot full of solid uh, resin. Now, the other second reason they give is because of the fact they say that some timbers or from somewhere, the free radicals, which are normally re uh, released by the activator at certain temperatures, if there's a similar free radical in something like the timber, it can cause it to go off. Now, again, I, I think that, that, that could be true. I don't believe they're the only two reasons they can go off, or I find it very hard to believe that at least. Uh, I am... One of the batches I lost, I was stabilizing timber that I stabilized the first half of the batch in that cactus juice and then stabilized the second half of that same timber off the same slab in that same cactus juice and it set it off. Uh, and you can imagine when it's $200 a liter, a gallon, sorry, of cactus juice um, and depending on what work you're doing, you might have done 10 hours work on the blocks already, cutting them to shape. Like if you get them like I do often as a big, there's a big chunk of timber. I have to slab them first and then cut them down to block size. Uh, and then and often I then fix them up, sand them or whatever. And some, some of them I turn and drill holes in first, or I then cut them into, into scales. 
Now, add all that together with the fact that you now have to buy the cactus juice again and prep a whole new set of blocks and you've just basically been the blocks. Add to that, it takes about four or five hours to chip all of that solid cactus juice and those blocks out of the chamber. Uh, and that's if you can even save the chamber. Um, Jez, Jeremy Haywood from Oblivion Blades lost a batch the other week and his was in a chamber that was unsavable. So he had to just bin the whole chamber, which meant even more money. So then you have to buy the whole lot again. So not only have you lost that $200 plus all that time and the wood, you have to then buy more wood, more prep, more cactus juice and, and more six weeks or whatever under, under um, in a chamber, which is very disheartening. Um, and I have to admit, I feel like I'm very close to the idea of canning the entire thing, selling my entire setup, letting someone else have some fun. Spent a lot of time researching uh, recycling materials like HDPE and that sort of thing after my podcast with Tim uh, from uh, Clement Knives in the UK who tries to do zero waste workshop and uh, and very close to, uh, well, he, he all these materials in his, in his handles at least are recycled and most of his blade is recycled materials apart from the core still. Um, it's got me very excited because I'm very, I am passionate about the planet. I'm passionate about keeping the planet alive for future generations. And uh, it sort of saddens me that um, we're destroying, we're destroying it and we're dumping plastics into the ocean and that sort of stuff. And if there's anything we can do, uh, then I would like to get involved. And I've been really heavily researching that and all the precious plastic stuff. If you're interested in that at all, Google precious plastics, they're an open sourced uh, company that, basically teach you to make the machines and all that sort of stuff for extrusion and whatnot and how to do it all anyway it's uh yeah there's a there's a lot there's a lot going on in my head at the moment i've had some fun things i actually had someone deliver me this beast of a thing uh dropped it off my front door and wants a new handle on it um it's like a rubberized handle and it's like made in taiwan or something and it's like the bluntest thing I've ever played with. Now he is a knife collector and he does use this thing when he goes bush and whatnot. Uh, so I think that's why it's so blunt. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna be putting a new handle on that. That's fun and what it's actually, I, 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 I kind of like the design. So I think I'll be making a couple of these myself uh, out of carbon steel, probably out of a six mil carbon or something. So if that's something that interests you, give us a holler. Now the other thing I'd like to speak to you guys about is I have a brand new website. I spent some time building myself a new website. I love it. So it incorporates the podcast, the YouTube channel, the new blog. If you're interested in reading at all, I'm doing my interviews with guys, uh, well-known makers, and then I'm blogging about it. So um, please go over to the website and have a look at that. It's tobyfireandsteel.com. But on there also, a lot of people have asked me about buying T-shirts and whatnot. Now, T-shirts are a big outlay for me. They cost me about $25 each to buy. Uh so by, to make it worth it for postage and all that and the and, uh, possibility of losing any or whatever, I'd need to sell them for like 35 um, and I sort of almost aren't comfortable with that. And I'd need to get a batch of over 25 together. So if you have any interest in getting a Toby Fire and Steel t-shirt with a new logo, uh, with all the sort of cracked and rippled logo, which I love, um, please let me know. I have sort of four or five people already who are really keen and up for it. Uh, it's just a case of working out what sizes, but I digress because I was saying a lot of people, they talk to me regularly and say they'd like to support me. I've had even people mention about getting a Patreon account, which I do not want to do. I don't like the idea of monetizing you guys. I do this because uh, I want to give back because I love the community and I enjoy doing what I do and not to force people to pay to watch it. But if you do want to support me, you do appreciate what I'm doing, I'd love for you to go over and buy some of my handle material and that sort of thing off my website. It's on the shop. I'm really happy with the prices. In fact, I think it's cheaper than uh, some others. I've got some stabilized timber on there and that. Um, and as you guys probably know, and this isn't gloating, I don't think, I would say my stabilized handles are some of the best in Australia. Uh, obviously, people like Mark Sinclair uh, are right up there. Dean Cassis is doing a great job. Um, but I know that I, the, the process I take to stabilize is probably over and above what is required. So they're very, very well done uh, materials. So look, if you want to buy handle blocks, things like spalted uh, myrtle and things like that for $35 for a big block, probably big enough to get four scales out of in some cases, 
Uh, I'd love for you to get over there and resin blocks for like the 40, anything from like $37 up to the $45, $50 for the stuff with the coffee in it, which takes a much greater uh, process to sort of multiple layers of resin and that sort of thing. It's multiple uh, processes, take some time. I would love for your support on that and to be buying some of the coffee blocks and that sort of thing. Uh, mugs are sold out of the mugs. If anyone would like mugs, let me know. I'm just about to do an order of more um, and I would love to know whether people actually want them. So please comment below. But also if you have any, um, I'm gonna put a review page on there and if you have anything nice to say, if you've bought anything from me or you like the videos or anything, I'd love it if you'd go on there and, and do it uh, and, and comment on there. Um, same as on the podcast. The podcast really needs to keep growing uh, more more reviews on iTunes. I know it's hard if you don't have iTunes, um, but there is ways of doing it, nicking someone else's phone and writing it on there. It takes a minute, if that, uh, but it really helps it grow now. I really appreciate it. It's been, um, it's been number, I think it was number 10 in the Canadian how to, uh, podcast, uh, category for a little while there and, uh, number like 40 in the U S or something. So I was really pleased with that. Um, happy with those numbers. If you haven't watched the podcast, listen to the podcast, please go and listen to it. It's interviews with really, really great makers from all around the world. And I'm really, really happy with how it's going. We do two a week and, uh, uh, one of his, his structured interview and the other one is just a chat with a sort of Aussie or wherever maker anywhere uh, around the world and they we just chat about stuff which is fine it's a bit more like if you like the knife talk and the knife talk and the um, the Aussie knife maker down under podcast it's a bit more like that um, though you can listen to it at work there's no swearing in it you can listen to it in front of your kids there's no swearing in any of them it's just a bit of a point of difference uh, that I like to do Anyway, so like I say, it's been it's been a it's been a crazy week. I'd love your support over on the website. Uh, the by, if there's anything on there you think I should I should have that I don't, please let me know. There'll be more products going up there this week. I've got uh, five pairing knives, like like the last pairing knife I did. Um, five of these, in fact, not five. Two of them are already spoken for. Um, they will be going up on the website in the next week or so. Uh, I've got some Pucos that I'm working on. These are some pretty cool Puko, like, uh, some Pucos that I've been working on. They're fun little things, just I've never had a carving knife like that, and I decided I wanted something a bit more specific for that industry. Lots of my standard sort of, um, kitchen knives that I, I put up, they, some of them will be going up. If you would like a knife at the moment, please just ask. Uh, if you need any work done on the knives, let me know. Um, I'm happy to rehandle stuff and things like that. Also, one other last thing. When I made my silicon molds some time ago, I uh, I did a video, I've done two videos of silicon molds and people asked if I would sell those. Now, I have perfected my process. I'm using a um, known silicon poured brand. Uh, I'm thinking about doing some of my, like this, my double silicon molds so they are uh, 40 by 35 by 150 and so you can either pour two scales in them or you can pour two blocks in them um, but they'll be made of this proper uh, resin uh, proper silicon uh, they will be going up on the website also if you've ever liked the idea of casting your own handles or just wanted to have a go uh, you'll be able to buy those a bit of a collaboration with with uh, Mitch from Mitch Carter using his resins. Uh, and so what I'll be doing is I'll be sending out uh, for $120, you can buy a double mold, a batch of Mitch Carter's resin and a couple of colors, pigment colors. So, you, so there'll be a couple of choices um, sort of with two colors in each and you can obviously buy more and you'll be able to buy, rebuy the refills of this off me as well. Essentially, you'll be able to get um, enough enough resin to make probably four blocks of, of resin or maybe 20 scales depending on how thick your scales are uh, some different colors and have a go and even when the resin lights run out you've still got your silica mold that you'll always be able to use for the rest of your life to pour stuff in so if it's just something you want to dabble in please let me know 120 bucks um, I don't make a great deal out of that but it's just another revenue stream and um, people ask me for them so let me know Comment below, please, really appreciate it. And press the bell button, because the bell button actually lets you know uh, when new videos come up and uh, and 
watch the, listen to the podcast. That's that's a really big thing. And please let me know what you think of the blog. Listen to the blog. And just scroll through the website. Tell me what you think of the new website. I spent a lot of time and effort. I'm not a website designer by any means, but I'm really proud of it. Let me know. Thank you very much, guys. I uh, really appreciate you watching. I love your support. Have a great week. And I will chat with you next week and maybe give you some more information what it's like to do two weeks as a full-time knife maker. <laughs>